Alright guys, um, I am here with, uh, I am here with Skyliner 12 for, sorry for a second there, it just, I was making another video, uh, I hadn't uploaded it yet, but it was a little bit boring, so we're here with Magna Buckler, I told you guys that I was going to remember that we were in Magna, look, with, um, Hood Loot, Hood Buckler, sorry, about to make mix-ups. Also, I've seen you guys, um, watching my, um, my two videos. Wait up, I gotta repose my camera. Okay, that's better. Now, my first video, um, of, of this got, like, 18 views, but that's, like, right now, though, because I uploaded, like, a few seconds ago. No, like, a few hours ago. It was, like, close to night, and... No one watches videos almost at night. That's if you're almost like me. Alright, so Magna Buckler, let's see his gameplay. And besides, we already saw Hoot Buckler and we saw. Oh. Alright. Magna Buckler. Bleh. Magna Buckler, I can't speak today. Also, I have gum. Magna Charge and Wash Buckler. Magna Buckler. Woohoo! That's kind of an awesome thing that they added on Sky and Swell Force. You can actually pick up the enemies with Magna Charge. He's the only Skylander that can do that. I don't know the other ones. If if other Skylanders can do that, then you can tell me right away in the comments. And I'll read them. Alright, so. Magna Charge, his voice. Up track to attack. Hmm. Weird. Nitro. Check our flags. Alright. So here's how it looks like in the figure of Nitro. Here's how it looks like normal. Now, Magna Charge came from the great race of Ultron robots. Now, I read this first, but but um, it was off camera. Uh, it was first uh, then the first video of what I did here. I can't believe I'm saying a lot. First, first, first. Okay. So, Man the Charge came from the great race of Ultron robots, but was mysteriously... Oops. Wait. Wait up. Uh. Dang it. Alright, that can be better. Alright. But was mysteriously created with a giant magnet head. This provided problematic as his peers were all made of metal and were constantly being pulled towards him. As a result, Magna Charge was exiled, which means banned, to a faraway island, where he eventually learned to control his magnetic powers. After years of training, he returned to his home to demonstrate his abilities, but found everything completely destroyed. In search for answers, Magna Charge caught the attention of Master Eon, who realized the the unique Ultron soldier was a perfect candidate for the Skylanders. And there's 30 more days until the launch. I can't wait. There's at least only one more week and six more days. Alright. This is going to be a lot of episodes. Yeah. We're barely still in the buckler one. Alright. Do wait until it pops up? Okay. Night buckler! Night shift! Versus wash buckler. Night shift. Versus wash buckler. Night buckler! The vampiric octopus boxer. Ding. Oh, <laughs> that, that's pretty awesome. 
Well, that was pretty funny, also. Whoops! 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 Whoa! You guys went on a crazy ride there. All right, wait up. Let me fix up. Whoo! That was one heck of a ride for you guys. What happened there? All right. So we're here with night shift. Now, I know his catchphrase, but I don't. I don't remember if he says it or how it. Now, I know how his voice sounds, but I haven't heard him saying his catchphrase. Roll with the punches. There you go. Oh, looks awesome. All right, so oh, boxing chompies. Oh man, that's funny. Whoops. No, 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 it's a surprise, no, it's for later, okay. Alright, from high up in the gloomy bat crypt, ooh, he came from a bat crypt, okay, so, let's see the images, okay. From bat crypt, Night Shift was a full-fledged baron of here to a great fortune. But one day he decided to leave it all behind to pursue his dream as a prize fighter. It wasn't long before Night Shift became the undefeated phantom weight champion of Skylands. Famous for his massive upper uppercut, yeah, we've seen that, and for having once bitten and opened in the ring. Unfortunately, uh, officially ended his career as no uh, rule change made. Teleportation illegal and Night Shift was forced to give up his belt, officially ending his career as a boxer. Chris fallen over being disqualified from a sport he loves so dearly. His spirits picked up when he was sought out by Master Ian, who told him that his skills as a fighter could be put to great use as a member of the Skylanders. Awesome. Awesome sauce, cool beans. Rattlebuckla! The Australian Octo Snake. Put your game things on. Alright. Rattlebuckla! Rattle Shake! And Wash Buckla! Go with Rattlebuckla! <laughs> Alright, so next we got Rada Shake. For um, some person try to um, say that his dad worked at the company of this and either he was trying to say what it was going to be named or he just made it up. He tried to call Rattleshake, um, um, Rizzle Dizzle, something like that, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Snake my day. Alright. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah, we've seen that image. Well, I have. I don't know about you guys. Some say Ravishik was the best tracker in the Cloud Bake Islands. Sounds like a sheriff. Which, he might have been. Others say he could strike the center of a gold coin at a thousand paces. But the legend of Ravishik was immortalized when he found himself trapped by the Black Hat Gang. <laughs> oh well. The infamous green group of cowboys who literally were large cows. <laughs> and even ones at that, that's almost like saying Hugo with his fear of um, sheep. If you don't know who Hugo was, he was a... I want to say mole, but that's not him. I know who he is, but he had a fear of uh, sheep. There was a guy in Skyliner Giants called, um, 
I don't remember his name, but he had a fear of clouds. Apparently, that happened. So that's almost like saying uh, Hugo with with uh, his thoughts of the evil ship. So she sheep. Sorry, I can't talk today. They threatened to plunder the local village unless Raushek led led them inside the magic volcano Mount Cloudbreak, where they hoped to discover enchanted treasure. Badly outnumbered, the ever calm Raushek magically summoned every snake in the area and overtook the n notorious bo bovines in an epic fight. The tale of his heroism was heard by Master Ian, who then recruited him to the Skylanders. Huh. His agility is pretty fast. Alright, so. We've seen those. Rubble Br Buckler. I was gonna say Rubble Breaker. Well, I cheated on the mattress. People says I got paid. I don't know. <coughs> Alright. Rubble Rouser. And wash buckler. Rubble buckler. Okay. Pretty sweet. Just wait until we get the game. That way we'll know why they're just showing us small attacks or like little attacks. It's kind of like they want to hide the awesome ones so that you can see it for themselves. But I'm not saying that they're doing that. I'm just saying that they might be. Alright. I'm thinking right now, Whamshell, the. Um, the crustacean, the crab with the mace. Uh, I was thinking like this should have been like his catchphrase: "Mace for impact," sound like that. Brace for impact. Oh, so that's what he sounds. Oh, weird. All right. Whoa! His figurine looks awesome, and I knew he was a digging type, of course. Look at his shoes. Look at his hammer. Oh, wait. No, oh, it doesn't show in the photo. Must be an upgrade. Yep, it's an upgrade. Alright. Hailing from a race of creatures who ate rock for a living. Wow. Rower Rouser spent most days digging his way through the vat vatness of Deep Mountain Mouthful by Mouthful alongside the rest of his people. But Rower Rouser found he could eat up for more ground with a swing of his hammer or spin of his drill. However, the leaders of his race wanted no part of changing the way they worked. That's it. That is. Until the evil rock lords trapped them deep within the mountain. It was then Rower Rouser showed everyone the power of his ways by defeating the rock lords with his mighty hammer and drill. Afterward, the leaders engorged. Rubble Rouser to seek out the Skylanders who readily welcomed him. Oh. I don't know what that meant or anything about that. I I just read. Okay. Spy Buckler Spy Rise and Wash Buckler. Spy Buckler. It's classified. That's pretty awesome. His power. Whoa! That was almost like Magna Charge. I did not see that coming. Alright, tech. We already did Magna Charge, and yes, there's a Light Core Countdown. I want to see Wind Up, but not yet. Dang it, guys. After Spy Rise, I'm going to show you, um, Wind Up.
or wind up, whatever you want to call them. Alright. It's classified. It's classified. I remember I saw this one, yes? No, maybe, probably, I don't know. From the moment he could crawl, Spy Rice wanted nothing more than to join his father in the family business as a private investigator. It sounds like a spy. Of course, Spy Rice. I thought his um, name was supposed to be like Spider. Like, not with S-P-I-S-P-Y. Okay. But apparently it was Spy Rice. Like, but after being hired by a shadowy figure to gather information on the Cloudbreak Islands, his father vanished, leaving Spy Rice alone to search for answers. He scoured the lands for clues, using his amnes... Amnes? Sound like that? Skill? Yeah, sorry. Skill and recon... Recon... Assist? Ah! You know what? Skip the word! To track down his missing father, I read it first, and for some reason I can't talk today. But all roads came up empty. Then one day he received a tip from none other than Master Eon, which led him to a hidden lair near Mount Cloudbreak, where he not only found his long lost father, well, good for him, but also uncovered an evil plot to take control of the magical volcano during the next eruption ceremony. With his father safe, Spy Rice decided to pursue a new career as a member of the Skylanders. Sounds like this um, mysterious shadowy figure was uh, none other than Chaos. Okay, who is that? Okay. So, we already showed you guys um, Trap Shadow, so we don't need to um, see that. So, this is going to be our last swapper. But not for checking out, no. no. Stink bomb and wash bucket. Stink bucket. I've seen this combination once. Show what you can. Whoa. There is also a palm attack where he can, like, um, in a way, come in and have someone. I don't know. It, it's really not like a ray of light blast. No, not like that. It's It shows, like, uh, his paw in a shadowy um, way. Alright, so. His catchphrase. Stink Bomb is his name. Clear the air. Now, let's hear it with his voice. Clear the air. Okay. So, that's how he looks like. He looks a little bit awesome. He he looks like if he is going to sh throw a shuriken right at your faces. Stink Bomb studied martial arts under one of the greatest ninja masters in history. Wait up. There, that's the attack that I was um I was talking about. So, who believed that surprise was the key to finding your true self. Thus, his master would constantly jump out and frighten him, hoping that it would scare Stink Bomb into fi finding his innermost strength. On one such occasion, Stink Bomb was so surprised they in instinctively released a cloud of vapor so pungent that it caused his master to disappear and never return. With his newly discovered ability, Stink Bomb developed his own, his own from, form of martial arts known as Kung Fu. Oh, I get it. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And wander the land, teaching it to all those who wish to learn. It was not long before the news and smell of this new form reached Master Eon, who sought out the young ninja at once. Alright, so. Okay. Wash zone. I'm 
go get a piece of gum for me. Wait, want some? Too bad, you can't get a real. Wash buckler and blast zone. Wash zone sounds like a car wash. Like step into the wash zone. His sword looks awesome. It looks like if it was made out of diamonds from uh, Minecraft. Now, since we saw all of, yeah, well, since we saw all their stories and all of that, wait a minute. Oh my God! I forgot about someone so important. We forgot to check trap shadows. Right? Right? Am I right or wrong? I mean, we've seen all of the stories, but we haven't seen like this one. I forgot. Hide and sleek. Oh my god. Sounds like sounds like I'm um, some sort of a uh, hunter or something. Oh my god, that looks awesome. One part in Elite Travel Hunters, I think. No, no, we didn't. This is going to be the last one of our storytelling, and then we'll just um, go with the gameplay and how they are. Okay, so we've seen all of them. What the? Okay. Hi. Right. One part of an Elite Travel Hunters in a remote area of Skyland, Trap Travel uses cat like cunning. In ingenious traps and mystical stealth abilities to catch nearby everything that could be caught. As a result, his fame around Skylands grew so much that it attracted the attention of an evil ca cage of wizards. They plotted to capture um, Trap Shadow and use his abilities to ensnare the most uncatchable thing of all, Master Eon himself. Well, but Trap Shadow could sense the since I'm coming from miles away, then you are a supernova ninja, bro. And outmaneuvered, outmaneuvered, sorry, each of the wizards was easily captured by trap shells, bewildering array of traps and snares until they were all locked away for good. Hang saved Master Eon, he quickly made trap shell a Skylander. Alright, so. Have you ever seen that? Blast Zone! You know, right now I'm thinking that this is going to be a little more faster than I, than I thought. Oh my god, it's blurry! What happened? Oh my god. What happened? Alright, so, if you guys weren't here, I'm not, I'm not finishing the video yet. Not yet. If you haven't seen the first, um, the first video of this, or if you want to, um, hear the rest of the stories, and you were like, wait, where's... Where is, um, where are the rest? You forgot about them. Well, they're in the first video. Go to my channel, which you are watching a video of it right now. Go check at it. You can subscribe to remember me. And, um, it will show you the other one. If you're one of those guys that saw it, um, good for you. If you weren't, do it now. Boom zone. It, it, so, it sounds like a war place, like where bombs are. Boom zone. Like soldiers. Alright, wait up. Boom jet and blast zone. Boom zone. It looks pretty awesome. Woo! Bombs away! Um.
Alright, so that shield uh, comes from this, the bottom part. Doom, doom. What the? Wrong one! What's wrong? What's wrong with you, girl? Alright, what up? We're gonna have to go through this cutscene. Alright. What's wrong? Wait up, wait up, guys. Um, let me try and check something. Wait up! Alright, guys, I know what was the problem. The guys haven't made a video of Doom Zone yet, and they replaced it for some reason with Boom Zone. They must have messed up, and right now they might be um um doing the problems. Okay, so let's just skip him, and we'll do him next time in another time when he's done, probably, probably when the game's already getting up. Okay, Fire Zone. Oh my God, this is so good. You wish you had this. Fire cracking and blast zone. Fire zone. Fireworks. Whoa, that's the thing I was talking um, of you guys. He can summon a Chinese dragon. Free zone! Sounds like where kids can go to the playground. Alright, so they do have the video on, like, Doom Zone. Free Ranger and Blast Zone. Free zone. The Storm Chicken with Fire Boots. Woohoo! Free zone! Don't worry, just chill out, man. Calm yourself, man. Calm yourself. Yep, this is going to be way more faster. Oh my god, I forgot to show you guys the wind up. Oh my god, that was like a few minutes. Dang it. Oh well, we'll do it later. We'll do it. We'll do it later. So wait up. Like, right now. Alright. I promised you guys that I was gonna show you guys wind, wind up. Or wind up, whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say of him. Heavy duty spark. Wind up or wind up. Oh my god, his eyes are screws. <laughs> uh, it, it looks like if it was like a dangerous wind-up toy. Oh, wind-up! Oh, okay. Whoa! He looks weird and creepy in the game. In the photo, he looks nothing like that, but... In the game, he looks free. Oh, wow, well, I'm dead. Whoa! 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 Oh my god, he literally is a wind up toy! Built in the enchanted workshop of a toy maker obs obsessed with time. Yep, I know it. 
wind up toy was created to help keep his massive collection of complicated clocks working com perfectly. But when the toy maker popped out of existence in a freak accident caused by putting hot cocoa in a cross wired Arkean oven, oh god, wind up found himself surrounded by an invading Cyclops plat platoon. When I towards claiming the toy maker's secrets for themselves using split second timing, clockwork strategy, and his totally wound up energy, wind up really sprang into action and handily defeated the Cyclops. He later joined the Skylanders to help swing the Pendulum the other way in their fight against anything that threatens Skylands. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Free Zone. Gorilla Zone. Zone. Gorilla Zone. You hear that? Gorilla Drilla and Blast Zone. Gorilla Zone. Anything that starts that ends with zone makes makes it sounds like something else. Is it me or is his staff upgraded? Nope, it's upgraded. Woo! Okay. Magma zone. Yep, they did it. Okay. Magna charge! Blast zone. Magna zone. Boom. Bang. Pow. Onion. Night zone. Pew. 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 Night zone. Night shift, blast zone. Night zone. Whoa. The awesome attacks. And 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 and. Woo. Yep, we're almost there. Okay, Rouse Zone. We're almost there to the ending of the video. Though, because if I do it and I don't check at it, it might just cut off by itself like how it did on two videos that I think I posted or that I never posted it though, because they were bad and I had to redo them. Rouse Shake and Blast Zone. Rattle Zone. Walk off. Whoa! Woo! Let's go get him! 
Rubble Zone. Go. I can't believe they haven't done a Doom Zones yet. Rubble Zone. Boom. Bam. Wow. Wahoo. Spy zone. Spy zone. Whoa, guys! I just noticed there's all the well, almost all of the elements of um, um, uh, golems. No, not golems. Fire, fire suit armor, something like that. I don't know, something like that. It there is like a wind, a wind, a wind one. I we saw it like right there. Well, at least I saw it. So it is official. There is going to be a air one, an ice one, and a fire one. Stink zone. Whoa! Trap zone. Did I ever show you guys um trap shell with buckler? Oops. Sorry guys. Wait. Probably, probably not. If I didn't, I will show you right there. If I did, well then I'm just making sure. Trap down. It's a trap! Woo! Whoa! That's almost like, um, Rao Shake's upgrade. Try and check it out. I think I didn't. I know we better make this fast. Uh, trap shadow and watch buckler. Trap buckler. Okay, now we're at the Jets. Yeah, this is going to be way more faster. There might be like four or three episodes. That's if I do them a lot longer. Of this. And if there is, then that'll be pretty good. Or pretty bad, I don't know. Man, look at his gun and sword. Dang. Whoa! I'm calling in Davy Jones.
Last jet. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. Okay. Why is it blurry? Whoa. Boom jet. I feel like relaxing right now. Mm, but I have to make videos for you guys. For you. For you, for you. Boom! Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. That's a new upgrade. Shooting two rockets out of his fan. Doom Jet! Do they have it? Yes, they do. Thank you. Doom Stone and Boom Jet. Doom Jet. It's a flying stone knight. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa! It's a Medusa shield. Yeah, that attack is almost like part of Crusher's. Like, he can, um, gaze upon, um... Upon enemies uh, like Hoot Loop. Actually, Crusher inspired some abilities of Hoot Loop and a. and, um, Doomstone. Wait up. I wanna recap. So, Crusher is the one that can, um, gaze upon enemies and turn them into stone. Doomstone can, like, freeze them for, like, a few seconds. And. Hood Luke can't confuse them, so Crusher inspired those two's attacks. Firecracker and Boom Jet. Fire Jet. Woohoo! Oh my god! Fire Gear Golem, that's it. Oh, look at that. Fire gear golems, ice gear golems, wind gear golems, I think it is, I don't know. It's new, we just found that out. I just remembered. Well, once we're done with this one, that will be the end of this video. But let's make the best of it of right now. Free Ranger and Boom Jet. Free Jet. Wow. Oh, okay, so that's it. We have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more for tops, and twelve or thirteen for the bottom. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Click the like button, smash it, whatever you want to do. Just don't break it. Subscribe to my channel so that you can remember me and help everyone. Well, mostly help me so that I can give you guys some good videos, not great ones. We'll get there eventually, but not now. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Dun 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 dun.